The burning of the sage has become a very popular form of witchcraft in our culture today, a way to purge negative energies or to banish evil spirits. During the recent Portland protests and riots, a group of witches walked through the streets burning sage, supposedly to ward off the evil of the federal forces that were there to protect government buildings and help to quell the anarchy. Many come to me for exorcisms and deliverance, telling me they have burned sage trying to get rid of their demons. But it doesn't work. In fact, they get more demons. When I ask them where they got the idea, usually they hear about it from a psychic or some kind of folk teaching. And the very demons that they are trying to thwart with the smudging of sage is the very demons that are drawn to them. Sage is a plant, a shrub sometimes, an herb. Now the Bible does talk about incense, for example, in Exodus chapter 30 verse 1. But it's not talking about sage. And in reality, there is no mention of sage in the Bible. It's the province of shamans and healers and witch doctors who are trying to drive out evil spirits with these smoldering bundles of sage while they chant and perform rituals or so-called sage walks. Some people try to cleanse haunted houses by the burning of sage. I've met a lot of these people, but because the evil intent is involved in witchcraft, it disqualifies sage as a means of getting rid of the devil. If you want to get rid of spiritual contamination in your life, James chapter 4 verses 8 through 10 tells us how purify your heart and humble yourself before the Lord. The sweet smoke of sage is not going to clear your soul. It's not going to cast out a demon. A burning plant can't get rid of evil. But because of the spiritual superstitious intent behind it, smudge, which can't clear your chakras or clear your auras, is a means of inviting the very evil spirits that you may be trying to get rid of. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.